Hey. <sighs> oh, I gotta clock out. Yeah, my shift's up. Time really seems to fly nowadays since we've gotten so busy. I'm finally starting to feel it in my uh, feet and my back. Marsha and White Outlets, home of the marching mannequins, who snatch you up after hours and force you to display the merchandise as one of them. <laughs> I guess we're lucky people actually bought stuff in addition to just checking to see if those urban legends were true. The rate we're going, the boss is probably going to start renting the place out at night to make a show of it. Yeah, like Flashlight Fridays or something. <laughs> You're not going home yet? You're taking on night hours. Okay. You sure you're gonna be alright here by yourself? I think I can get away with hanging out outside the building if you need me to. Hey, 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 I'm not saying that you can't handle yourself. I'm not saying anything about those rumors either. Just that when you hear something enough times and for long enough, it can mess with you. One friend to another? I won't judge you if you're too scared to stay here by yourself, okay? And I don't have a problem hanging around for a little longer. You sure you'll be fine? <sighs> Alright. Your call. I am Audi 5000. Don't forget. You have my number and my phone will be on, okay? Uh, good night. No, wait! I mean, please don't turn around. Just stay where you are. Don't look at me. Not yet. I'm not here to hurt you, I promise. I just wanted to talk to you. Don't turn around. And don't leave. Just, just give me a minute or two. That's all I'm asking. And I promise I'll leave you alone after that. <sighs> I understand if this is scary for you. You probably don't even know who I am. But I know who you are. At least, uh, I like to think that I do. I've been watching you work in this department store for a while now. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. We just happen to work together. <laughs> We're co-workers here in this store. You're probably busy with your own job and... Don't really notice me. I wouldn't blame you. It probably doesn't look like I'm doing much, but I really am doing my best. Really. And watching you helps with that a lot. Whether you're sprinting this way and that to stock all of those shelves, or leading others around the store, or closing and cleaning like you are now. On the surface, your job doesn't seem like it's different from anyone else's. It might not even lead anywhere or require anything special. But whenever I see you, you always work like it's a gift. You juggle everything without fail. You proudly stretch and stoop with duster and mop. There hasn't been a single customer that I've seen break you yet. And even after the worst tongue lashings have passed, you can still turn around to the next one and put on a smile. You can make them laugh. Ah, <sighs> it's beautiful to watch. I can't take my eyes off you. Someone who cares about their work like you do must be as beautiful on the inside as they are on the outside. And after so much watching and so much hiding, maybe it's natural to admire you like this. Or <laughs> fall in love like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's rude of me to hide from you. But I wanted to get that out there before we did or said anything else. So no matter what happens, I won't regret anything. To be honest, I'm... I'm really scared right now. Because when you turn around... 
Uh, I don't know if you're going to like what you see. But I'll let you look. You can turn around now, if you want. I won't freeze up on you this time. I promise. It's... It's going to be okay. It's okay if you want to look at me. Uh... <laughs> you're, you're actually looking at me. <sighs> oh my. This is... This is very new. After all this time, I'm finally the only one you're looking at. I... I hope I'm pretty enough for you to look at. I really, really tried to be pretty. If I knew I would ever have some time with someone as wonderful as you, well, I would have started working on it earlier. Hmm? No, I do work with you. You run past me all the time when you're showing customers around the men's department. All I can really do is watch as you scurry around the store. And, well, that's because it's my job to keep absolutely still. I guess I'm not doing very good with that right now. <laughs> I, can, I can't stop shaking. But I don't think I can help it. I can't remember a time when I was as happy and lucky as I am right now. Uh, so, uh, so what brings you here so late at night? It's not often you stay after hours. Well, a mannequin? Which one of us? Me? No, no. I don't think that's the case. Maybe it's maybe it's just a trick of the lighting. It it is quite dark now and these lights don't help much. But I don't think we're different. I think we're both people. We look just like each other. We both have arms and legs, eyes, Hair? Our bodies are almost the same. Uh, although, I guess yours is much prettier than mine. Oh, wait. Where are you going? W uh, but you stayed. Uh, uh, don't you love me? So what you're saying is, I, I don't understand. I, I worked so hard for this. I really did my best to follow all of the rules, and, and I hid so well. What's wrong? It's that other guy. It's because I'm not as pretty as he is. And because I'm not as skinny as he is, is that it? Is he just... Is he just better than me somehow? Don't look at me like that. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You always spend time with him during the day. You're always looking at him. Never me. You're always talking to him and you never come over to my corner. Why? T tell me. What does he have that I don't? N no. Stay here. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I worked hard for this body. I worked hard so I could be beautiful for you, and so you would love me. No matter how sad I was, no matter how hungry I was, I never gave up. I never stopped, even when it hurt. I wasn't even swayed when those men in the white coats started spreading their lies. They said I was sick and dying, but I didn't let myself believe them. No, I was good, I promise you. So why are you trying to leave me? Why can't you love me? Just stop! Get back here! Open up! I know you're in there. Come on. I'm... I'm not done with you yet. I... I... I just want to understand. Please, just tell me why. Tell me why. I, I don't understand. I, I love you, and I, I don't understand. Please, please talk to me. Please tell me why. Tell me why. Hello.
Oh, hey, it... Why? Whoa, 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 slow down. What's going on? Tell me why. What the... Okay, why? this really isn't the time to be playing jokes, seriously. Why? Okay, 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 I'll come get you. No, I'm not leaving, I'll, I'll stay on the phone. You have the door locked, right? Good. Keep it locked, put some kind of weight in front of it, and hide. Maybe it's just some guy pulling a sick joke. Take some deep breaths. You lock the door. Good. One of them came to life and approached you, and and they said, what? Uh, all right, I, I'm getting in the car now. I'll be there in ten, so just hold out until then. Can you do that? Good. Just keep breathing. Stay calm and stay away from the door. It's all going to be all right. I'll, I'll help you get out of here. Just stay calm. Just keep talking to me. It's all going to be all right. <sighs>